Welcome, my friends. So if you're using Gigabyte Z690 or Z790 motherboard and Intel's 13th gen, the i7 or i9, that's 13700K or KF or 13900K or KF, then you can get something called instant 6 gigahertz feature from BIOS, which basically means that by just enabling one click, you can just get your CPU to run 6 gigahertz. So it's like having the 13900KS already now with your current hardware. I mean, who doesn't like a single click performance boost with no extra cost? You need to update the BIOS before you can get the feature, the latest BIOS. It does work with Z790 and Z690 motherboards. I've got the Z690 Aero D, which is, I think, one of the nicest looking motherboards there. And Gigabyte, please don't stop producing these motherboards. I'm sure people would agree with me in the comment section below. We need more crater looking motherboards, just minimalistic, nice design like this one and in this PC case. So what I am doing right now is you can see I have got the single test of Cinebench R23 uh, working there in the background. We're gonna be testing the single core score and then seeing how much is it improve after we have slotted uh, or just done that feature in the BIOS. I'll show you also how you can get that and all sorts of things. But right now what you can see see is here we've got the P cores one two two of them have hit 5.8 gigahertz and bear in mind if you haven't seen the PC build for this I highly recommend you check that out I'm using air cooling for this okay so we're also testing it can this be done with just air cooling or is it just like another let's push more power through and there we go right all the P cores are going 5.5 gigahertz and then sometimes boosting to 5.8 gigahertz as you can see here the p core 3 is 5.8 there and we are roughly pulling about 44 watts single core 45 watts single core score here and the temperatures are extremely good about 52 60 degrees here single core performance so let's wait for this test to complete and then see what the score is okay 2244 points here single core now here gigabyte's own kind of uh, you know release of this says that on no november 28th which is like about a week ago it came out announced uh, the instant six gigahertz technology designed for 3900k and 3900 uh, 3700k processors to the z690 platform so now it's available z690 z790 platform there as well the single core up to three uh, percent performance boost so we'll see how much that's gonna give you there but basically this enables users to stay with the existing z690 platform and they can enjoy the performance enhancements of the cpu as well so now all you have to do is restart the pc and start hitting delete button okay once you are in the bios you're probably not gonna see it here in the easy mode. What you have to do is go to this advanced mode here, which is F2, you can hit F2 on your keyboard or just click on this, it'll do exactly the same thing. And then here, as you can see under tweaker settings, you can see CPU upgrade here, okay? We're gonna click on that. If you click enter, you can change some settings here. As you can see, this is max performance profile, gaming profile, default. We've been using default, as you can see. We're gonna hit instant six gigahertz, okay? Let's see what happens. And all you have to do now is save and exit there. Save and exit or hit F10, which will do exactly the same. So everything we've changed in the BIOS is just CPU upgrade from default to instant six gigahertz. Let's see what happens. I guess we'll just hit single core. And let's see what happens. Why aren't any of these moving? Okay, we are pulling a bit more power through. 60 rather than about 15 extra watts. But I don't see the clock speeds. So it looks like there's some kind of monitoring thing now with the BIOS settings. I can't monitor the actual clock speeds. As you can see, they're somehow going a little bit weird we're gonna hit single core score and then let's have a look at these what we can see from this hardware monitor now this is the latest version so it should like read them but somehow there's some kind of mix up what what it can read so now they're not going like 5.5 gigahertz they're going like 5.498 so it's like a few megahertz lower and it boosts not up to 5.8 but 5.798 which is just a few megahertz again lower than 
5.8. What I can see though is we're using a lot more power than previously. We were about 45 watts single core. Now we are about 65, somewhere around there. 10 watts a bit more, maybe sometimes 15 watts, boosting up to like 60 watts. Here we can see we were like 73 watts, like temporarily. So I'm looking at my score here, it's 2194, which is actually lower than before. And when I'm looking at the uh, like clock speeds here, it says it we did hit like similar thing, like 5.8 on two cores and 5.5 .5 on the rest of the P cores and 4.3 on all of the E cores. But where's the 6 gigahertz i'm gonna change my xdu settings to turbo boost short power draw unlimited power max unlimited as well just because um basically now we're not enforcing um intel's limits to the cpu so it, let's see what the motherboard can do basically so let's try this now again okay we tried it again and situation is slightly worse but um i did close like one of the other uh, program so perhaps some of the single core performance went because of that but as you can see it is actually slower than before and gigabyte if you're watching this please let me know what the heck is going on because i'm doing exactly everything that it should do let me restart it one more time and see if that's going to make a difference okay so after you have applied them in the bios you should restart it again apparently just look at that instantly go into six Gigahertz there, okay. As you can see, always the problem is something simple. Restart and your problems go. Even here and now. Okay, single core. Let's have a look at that. Test now. Where's our six gigahertz cores? Come on, give us them. Two and three here, they should pop to six gigahertz. Let's see what we're doing here in terms of package power. Leave this one open here as well. Boom, see, six gigahertz. Did you see that? Pico three hit six gigahertz. Another, see, again, six gigahertz. Let's see what the performance difference actually is going to be. Now you can see a much bigger power draw than before on the single core. As you can see, we're uh, 52, like 45 right now, 46. We're boosting to 55, 56, and then we went to 60 as well just in a minute ago, 55. So we're 10, like 15 watts more than the basics. P core right now, 6 gigahertz. We were 57, so about a few extra percentage there. Let's see how much is the difference. Alrighty, test is done. And as you can see, uh, we have increased the score from uh, 2244 to 2269. And we did hit six gigahertz, like exactly on this here. This one was 5.998, okay, almost six gigahertz. I'm gonna do the test one last time. I'm gonna close the hardware info as well. So we can see if there's going to be a difference in the score, you know, because we're actually running the software there as well. But is this worth it for creators? Should you do it? Is this the question? Is this going to be compromising stability or not? This is optimized by BIOS and uh, by Gigabyte. They have done the extended testing on this and they wouldn't be releasing this feature if this wasn't stable. Okay, they're letting you overclock this as well and like, just try, you know, do whatever you want with it. You know, that's the bias settings there and tweaker settings. You can just tweak the voltages, clock speeds, everything, you know, just go with the heart's desire. But I've always said to the creators, don't do that because it's not worth the extra, you know, performance there because you're massively paying the price in stability. You'll never know when your voltage isn't enough and you're going to get blue screen of death and losing any project is just not worth it. But because this is kind of like motherboard optimized BIOS, you know, like when you drop the CPU into your BIOS anyway, you'll get it pulled like ex like up to 330 watts or over 300 watts anyway, because BIOS lets it optimize and just does pulls maximum out of the CPU. Now, this is just another maybe more dialed back version of doing exactly the same thing, but more pushing the single core performance, which I think is actually very interesting because often time we are as creators work in a single core performance, like your photos, you know, even video editing, working with faders, color grading, that's all like single core performance. And if we can get just six gigahertz, like up to 3% increase without doing anything, then I think this is kind of interesting feature that does do that. So if you're a creator, I highly recommend you check that out because as far as I know, there shouldn't be any 
hit on the stability of the system because this is they've released this because they know this is completely safe to do if they're really pushing it to the limits they're saying whoa look some overclocker did it and got you know 6.2 gigahertz woohoo use these settings but this is not like just something applied to everything it's like an xmp of the memory profile they know this is going to work so this is basically like the same for your system or for your cpu so if you're running the 13900k or 13700k update the bios and then just hit bio instant six gigahertz and then you'll get extra little bit of performance of your cpu which i think is very very cool so thanks gigabyte for uh you know doing that i'd love to see something like that from asus as well or msi most likely they're going to start to do that as well we'll we'll see what asus and msi is going to do because competition is great we end users we're gonna benefit most of all out of this competition like and subscribe and uh, we'll see what the test result is now let's end with the final test result it's almost done okay the test is 2302 points as you can see we have 2.58 percent increase so about 2.6 percent increase in single core performance not bad see you later